Anyways, let's actually get into this now. Let's start building. So we've more or less played what was already in the demo, which we played beforehand, so everything tonight is pretty much going to be new, like we've not got to this point so far. I'm assuming that the demo ends like after you complete that like raid battle against those skeleton army guys. Because I didn't actually get that far, I was just behind that part in the demo and I just like didn't bother continuing. So as we play this, I'll let you guys know how the controller is. Like it's got very little latency as far as I can tell, so that's quite good. Also, we've got a new guy with a lovely face. I saw a great light. I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. But who are you, and what are you doing in a place like this? I beg your bar pardon, you're building a city? Mm, good luck with that. You expect people to work together to live in harmony and you're another thing coming. You've you've another thing coming. I hate to burst your bubble boy, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for one but himself. Speaking of which, I tried out after that trick. I'm I'm tired out after that trick. Why why can't I read? Fucking two seconds and I'm already messing up. I'll stay here and rest for a while, if you don't mind. The name's LaRouche. That's a weird name. Shan't be staying long, I don't think, but in case, please make your acquaintance. Okay, LaRouche. What a, what a weird name. I'm sorry, that's just a very bizarre name. Also, what are you doing? Brilliant work showing those blighters who's boss melee. But it seems the filthy fiends have found their humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they'll strike next, we must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I had seen an artifact of similar design in the Cantal and Chronicle, and man of action that I am, I investigated further. I move. If you were to stick those fragments together, and I would believe you would be able to form a device known as a teleportal. Apparently, you can just plunk that thing down on the ground and hey presto, it'll whisk you away on a sunbeam to place where you want to find your heart to find whatever your heart de desires. E yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I can't speak tonight. I apologize. For a builder like yourself putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Millie, do you think you can go together that teleportal? Right. Now we can build it. Oops. So yeah, the the A bit door controller is actually really nice. Has she actually made anything else? Oh, she's actually got stuff in here. I mean, it's not really anything built. It's just three broken branches and twenty earth blocks. Good. Right, blue teleportal. Uh, yeah, we've got enough of that. Should probably stick the rest of the stuff in that chest over there. Don't really need all that, do I? Oh right, it's the D-pads, right. I thought it was the L and R buttons to like scroll that. Just need to remember what, what buttons do what. Max HP increased, that's good. Right, so... I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put this in any specific spot. I guess I just put it anywhere. Uh, let's see, where's a good place to put it? I mean, I guess I'll stick it here. 
There we go. Portal to another island has opened up. By my baby blue eyes, you've done it, Melee. You made a teleportal. Now you can travel the distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you've, you're sure to find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quickly now, plop the toil portal down on the ground and hop through to whatever road wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, before you head off, there's something I wish to ask of you. Something of which the good of our city is as continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleportal up and running, I beg you to speak with me before you step through it. Coarse cloth. Okay then. By my athletic physique, the teleportal has activated. The mysterious swirling light is positively hypnotic. When a teleportal shines like that, it shows that a path has opened to a place where all your dreams can come true. Merely, my friends, there is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to build the most mighty of the tools, the giant mallet. Pendulum Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer, strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and moods aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this toilet portal may take you. And with new materials come new ideas for new items. Items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. Those monsters known as the Hammer Hoots carry the giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure they can tell you where to, how to build one. Once you've learned the recipe, waste no time. Build one straight away and show it to me. Right. I suppose I could do that first. Just save real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot you could do this. If you press the start button, or plus I guess, it brings into bird's eye view, that's kind of cool. So wait, am I supposed to go in the portal? Because the indicator seems to be pointing as such, but... I thought, this, I thought you wanted me to get a hammer from this world, so I'm not sure where to go. Let me talk to him one more time. Have you made progress on the giant hammer? It's a wonder it's still capable of more than felling trees and smashing rocks. Cantlin Chronicle claims that it's that it even can loosen metals and minerals from the earth itself. So may I travel through the teleportal and seek out the clue to building one of those giant mallets. Right, so I'm supposed to go through the portal. Right. Just making sure. I thought you wanted me to find a, a hammer here and then go through the teleportal with the hammer. Ah. Merely obtained his first clump of fur. Can also make a leather shield, nice. I'm bored. Hammerton Heights Visitor Center. Alright, let's see what this guy wants. Maybe he can help me get that hammer thingy, the recipe. Strike, strike, strike me down! This is a human! What do you think you're doing barging in here like it's your own place? You've not you've got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. So, what do you want? I like how I'm not even fucking facing him. What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, 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 we've only just met! Oh, you're talking about the hammer! Oh. <laughs> oh, okay then. 
If you want to know how to make a giant mallet, Clapperina is the hammer who to ask. She shouldn't be too hard to find, so there's a bonfire on the roof of her house, so just look for that. Here, human, take, take, take this. Consider this as a sign of our new friendship. Nearly obtained the same post. So we need to look for a bonfire on the roof of this person's house that we're looking for. Apparently it's in this direction. We can't go in the water though, can we? I don't think you can. Tell you what we can do though. We could build a bridge across there. Ow. I keep forgetting about fall damage in this game. Right, okay. I need to remember how you do this. Wait. Oh, right, you can't actually build that far out. Huh. Or, or maybe I'm not supposed to go that way yet. Oh, is that a rare slime? For a splat of orange oil. Well, it's not really a rare slime, it's a different kind that drops different kinds of materials. So wait, can I not build across this part at all? I'm just pretty much stuck doing this. Yeah, it doesn't seem to look me. Nope. That's pretty much the very edge. Oh, you can claim those? Right, okay. Didn't realise those were, like, claimable. Guess I'll start by scavenging some of the orange oil then from those guys and then we'll look for this person. I was honestly not expecting a random innuendo joke in the middle of this game, truth be told. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, yesterday I mentioned I was going to get Bayonetta today, most likely because I know a place where I can buy the game a couple days early. And... Turns out, yeah, I'd managed to get the game today, but I cannot play it today because it's only the second game. Like, technically it's both games, it's Bayonetta 1 and 2 in the same box. But the first game is digital only, and as such you cannot download it until launch day. Like, I tried redeeming the download code today and it said you cannot download this because it's not available yet. So yeah, kind of sucks. Like, I've got the cartridge for Bayonetta 2, but I'm going to be playing the first game first before we get to that one. So, expect me to do that on Friday then. I could possibly do it tomorrow, but it means waiting till midnight and spending at least an hour or two hours downloading it. Because it's like 8GB and my internet's not the best at downloading stuff. Especially on consoles. So I, th I think I'll just wait till Friday to do it. I would, I would rather just stream on the Thursday night instead of doing that. Merely obtained his first monster egg. No recipe though, like, no recipe thing popped up. Ow! Oh fuck, I actually lost my clothes. Like, I saw the notification that said that I lost my rags, but I didn't realise you could actually see it. Fucking half naked now. 
half naked and being chased by skeletons. Ah. Fucking being attacked by papyrus skeletons right here. Yeah, I should probably head back. It's looking a bit grim right now at this time. I'll go back to the teleport, we'll sleep, and then build some new armor. And then we'll try again. Heal? Uh, we don't really need to heal. Like, we could just go and sleep. Look at us, like, we've just got nothing on, on our fucking shirt, except for the belt. Oh shit. I forgot enemies come in at night now. The basic bedroom is turned into an empty room. Whoops. What did, what did I do? <laughs> I think I destroyed something by accident, hang on. Right, let's sleep. <laughs> that just looks so stupid. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Melee's mind. Oh, we get some backstory now. I beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped thy mind? Forsooth, what manner of hero art thou forget such a speech? Permit me to regale thee, but with his majesty's words once more. <clears throat> In days of yore, thy revered, revered ancestor did receive the Almighty Goddess, the Sphere of Light. But it, by its power, the by, bleh, by its power, our was our world of. Bleh, I'm sorry, I, I keep tripping up on shit like this. By its power was our world rid of the menace, which did beset it. There we go. Yet alas, some few years have passed, and then did arise a new threat: the Dragon Lord. With his cunning, did he steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the world into darkness once more? Shall the state of affairs be suffered to continue? The night must surely take the unrelenting hold, and our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed dragon lord, and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alfgard does trust of... just dust of... doth... All of Alfgard doth its place, its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. It's fucking hard enough trying to read without stammering on my own words, and then you get that shit, like the way they sort of speak in ye olde English. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whatever it was is its own memory, or somebody else's merely cannot remember. How's the microphone, by the way? Is it okay? Right, first thing I'm going to do is build some armor because obviously we're a little bit under equipped, quite literally. I don't know if I've got the materials for our armor. Let's see what we need. Hmm. We're missing. Wait, how the fuck do you get cord? You made progress with the giant hammer. Okay, this is all the same stuff as before. Uh, not sure where you get string from, like the cord. Have you had a chat with our new visitor yet? The one with the funny little hats? I do hope he, do hope he wants to settle down here and then he could help us rebuild the city. I say this place is surprisingly well furnished. There are rooms, beds, and everything. Perhaps I might stay here a while and see how it suits me. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of settling down here. I'd rather be a lone wolf than one of the herds. Oops. 
he's he's just staring at the wall now. Oh, all oh, right, okay, he's just putting stuff in the chest. No, fuck! I want to open the chest. There we go. Fried egg. That's cool. Oh yeah, the hunger meter. Yeah. I just realised the hunger meter was low. Hate to be eating all the shit that you just put in here, but I really need it right now. Right, so I need to figure out how to get cords. That didn't sound right. I need to figure out how to get string, like, it's an item called cord, which is literally just string slash rope. Rope! Then we can start building some proper armour. Not sure if it's material you can find out in the open or if it's something a certain monster drops, I haven't figured that out just yet. We'll go into the other world once I've got better armour for it. Why am I still holding an extra bed? Did I accidentally smash two beds? Yeah, I think I need to go back to town to fix that. It's not turn-based? Nope, it's not turn-based. Do you need help? Uh, maybe a slight nudge in the right direction as to where you can find um, string or cord. Because the game hasn't really told me how to obtain that. Yeah, I think I did smash one of the beds. Yeah, let's um, place this back down. Place still has a lot of work to go to do. Um, I put that in there. There we go. Just make that look nice. Uh, just a second, need to tend to something real quick. Right, okay. Sorry about that. Wait, what was that? That that prompt build? Oh right, that's a building spot. It's kind of convenient that there are building spots out in the open, so you'd have to go back to town to do that. What's this? Corally bud? Uh, oh, you can place that? Right, okay. I'm gonna tip... Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean, like, I didn't mean to place it down. And I was like, okay, I'll just destroy it so I can take the bud back. Now it's just smashed feathers. Whoops. Or smashed leaves, rather. Petals. Get some more chimera wings, why not?
Well, let's see if I've got this. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So this is how you build stairs. You do that, and then you do that. Oops. I've got the right idea now. I just need to get into the rhythm. That. Yeah, send the picture on Discord, sure. What an awful night to have a curse. Speaking of curses, I'm fucking convinced Nack is cursed now. Oh, so you can swim in water as long as it's not on the very edge of the map. That's something I didn't actually know. But yeah, the reason I brought that up about um, that game being fucking cursed was because I streamed it for like an hour and a half, and then after that my internet died. So yeah, I'm convinced that game is cursed. Never again will I touch Nack. Oh, there's a Mini boss or boss, a boss monster of some descript. Don't know if I should fight it or if I should just leave it. Especially with no armor, I don't think I'm equipped for this. Monster hunter, we be not. Gotta be careful of that falling damage. I think I need to get another club shortly. Actually, this one's still going strong. Still like 55% left. I thought it was due to break, but it's not anywhere near, so that's good. Uh, are you sure you sent a pic? Because I don't see anything. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I was trying to check Discord there. I don't see anything. Are you sure you sent something? Or are you trying to send something? What's this? Oh, is this a different biome? Probably shouldn't be going out this far, but I want to see what's over here. Might find something really cool. Oh shit. 
Well, the good news is it's daytime now, the bad news is this kind of looks a little bit dodgy. Can I step on this? I can. Still looks a bit risky though. to use something up. Hang on. Yeah, I should have emptied some of this shit out. I'm not sure what thing to get rid of, in all honesty. In fact, I could just um, get rid of this. Oh. I could just get rid of those elf blocks and pick up the new ones. Uh, yeah, discard them. Poisonous peat. Right, well, I see you posted a picture. Oh, is it the vines? Yeah, I think I see what, what I'm supposed to be looking for now. I think I'm going to head back to town. Um, just need to find my way back. Hang on a sec. Keep doing that, keep double pressing it by accident. That was a little interesting detour. Let's go back to town and hopefully not die along the way. Ah! Tried my fucking best to avoid full damage there. Hang on a second. Wait, it says I've got 3 out of 57, and yeah, it says I've got 6 there. Oh wait, does it include treasure chests as well? Right, okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm just going to make a couple here just to expend the ones that I'm holding. There we go. I'm going to go to the bed just to advance the day because I think it's about to. I think night time is about to approach soonish. And then we will head back to the other world and get that material. Then we can build the armor and then we can finally look for that person that we were supposed to look for like 20 minutes ago. Uh, still time to. Let's, let's do it now actually. I don't need to go to bed.
Uh, oh, right. Yeah, maybe I should have dropped some stuff. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to head back now. Yeah, I should have used the treasure chest before I got here. Just to get rid of the stuff I was holding on to. Maybe I should take a treasure chest with me as well, so that I can, like, drop stuff into that if I'm over full with stuff. Like, if I've got more stuff than I actually need. What's this do? Some whole sign made of you. It's, uh, wood can be used to write messages on. Don't really think I need that right now. All this material can be used from within the chest, so I'm just going to toss all this in there. Yeah, just put that in. Just put everything in except for the building blocks and the necessary items. There we go. Perfect. The world's slowest playthrough of fucking Dragon Quest build is right here. First piece of ivy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not super obvious that you were supposed to do that. Yeah. Oh, this club is just about to break, finally. Probably more than enough. Put all this stuff away as well since we can actually use that. Uh, so I'll just keep, since that's the building block I can use. That's kind of a good idea that stuff that's inside the treasure chest can be used for building material without taking them out. It's a nice way to streamline the process of like building shit. Because in Minecraft, you need to take everything out of the chest that you re you're required pretty much to build shit with. Like, if you want to do stuff from a bench. So yeah, we can make quite a few of these. Can now make a straw floor. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's probably enough. We need to make a new oaken club and then we can build armour. Uh, copper ingots. We don't have that yet, so we'll come back to that one. There we go. Hmm. 
now we're ready to finally do this. Oh, there's the torch, I think. I didn't see that the first time. It was right there, like it wasn't that far away. Well, that's cool, they've even built a little stairway. Club Marina knows all sorts of stuff. She told us she'd be used to the humans everywhere and they were horrible to us monsters. Then the Dragon Ward came and chased, chased, chased all the humans away and made things nice and peaceful like they are now. I'm so happy I wasn't born back when the humans were in charge. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Well, bless my soul if it isn't a little human. I'm Clubberina, the head hammerhoods. I suppose you might call me the hammerheads. What might a poor be begoldered human want with me? Is that what a Billy Billigard? Billigard? I, I have no idea. Mercy me, you want to know how to make her giant mallets? Sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human, but you won't turn into a hammerhood that easily. And besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipes are closely guarded secrets. Won't be right to tell any Tom, 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 Dick and Harry how to make them. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know. My roof has got three great big holes in it. My wind... The wind came right through it and it plays havoc with my old bones. And don't get me started on the rain, I get soaked to the skin, I'll catch 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 my death one of these days, I'll tell you that. A few block block blocks of straw floor would plug those holes right up. I do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. Well, how about it? Can you fix my roof? We can use ivy around here to get cords. Oh, right, okay, they were supposed to tell me that. See, if I hadn't fucking lost my armor that quickly, I would have not had to go back and try to make some armor. And would have figured this out much more quickly. Need to bundle the straw into blocks. Once you build some straw floor, just pop them in the holes. If you fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet just like mine. Is there a building thing up there? Oh, there is. Okay. Good. Just so happens to be conveniently placed at the very top. There we go. My word, you fixed my roof! And what a, wonderful, what a wonderful job you've done, too. I didn't think you had it in you. Hold on a minute. A human with the power to build, build, build things out of nothing? Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Oh my, would you listen to me getting all excited? Don't worry, dearie. The secret's safe with me. You humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, those monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think, think, think the world could do with a bit of balance. Now that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it'd be a real shame if you all died out. Alright, I'll help you, but this is just between me, you and me, dearie. We wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out now, would we? First things first, let me show you how to build, build, build a giant mallet. Right, let's see what we need to build a hammer or mallet. Oh, that's easy. Got more than enough of those. In fact, why don't we make a few of those?
Yeah. Oh, did he f feel his attack? That's weird. Yeah, these guys are going to take a while to get rid of. Why don't we switch items? And use the mallet against those guys. Okay, so that swings pretty quickly, actually. Ow! Root. Fucking root. Bop. <laughs> Just fucking bop him with it. Bap it! Fucking murdered. Absolutely abolished with that. I love the thumping sound that makes as well. Just to further... I was going to say further hammer it in, but I don't want to make that pun. Just to, to further... Emphasize the impact, I suppose. That's, that's a way to put it. Okay, now this is actually a lot of fun. Like, once you get this hammer, you can just go to town on people. Of course, I can also break rocks as well and maybe get some minerals. So now we can get some stone and now we can start building... Oh, stone sword! Yes. You know how in Minecraft you could just build a sword almost instantaneously? Well, it fucking took me about three and a half hours just to do it here. I can make a stone stool. It's a stone, Luigi! You didn't make it! It's a football, I chiseled it! I can't, I can't do it. I wish I could do those voices, but... My voice is too deep to sort of pull that Luigi voice off. It's a football, I chiseled it! It's a storm, Luigi! You didn't make it! Oh yeah, here's minerals that I saw earlier. Probably get some good shit. This looks like coal. Yep, yeah, that's coal. Brazier. Oh. That's cool. Crockery. Gonna be heading back to the town shortly. Of course, I can also attack things from below, so that works. So I'll harvest all of this stone here and then we'll head back and start building stone swords and a few other things. Oh yeah, hang on a second. I don't think we can carry this other material. I suppose I can drop that orange oil. I don't think we really need that. Ah, I'm trying to get into a position where I can strike this. There we go. Oh, there we go, that's copper. Now we can make the leather armor. Good. We can build a forge. Nice. That will enable us to build even further things, like more advanced stuff. This is pretty cool. It really does feel like Minecraft, but like a Minecraft with more direction to it. Once I finish harvesting some of this copper ore, I'm going to head back. Shouldn't take t 
too long. Just a couple minutes, give or take. Better pick up the pace though, it's getting dark. I'd say that was a good haul. What, all around? There we go. This just then, child murders everything with a large mallet more 11. Yep. Oh yeah, I should talk to him now that I've got the hammer. By my knobbly knuckles! <laughs> By my knobbly knuckles, Melee, you've done it! You've built a giant mallet! Oh hey there, Hurhin. With a hammer like that, you can smash up all sorts of things that you couldn't smash up before. Why, just around here there are trees and rocks. And through that blue port teleportal, there should be copper and coal in the abundance. In abundance. Once a clever lad like you gets his hands on materials just like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. Oh, so just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, Melee, head into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash everything up you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time, build them straight away. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down some of the trees nearby? So on top of destroying rocks and copper ore and stuff like that, we can also destroy trees. Bop, bop, bop. Let's fucking bop it. I just love that sound effect of just hitting them. That's very satisfying. Just bang, bang, bang. Huh. Okay then, so if you destroy the stump you get some seedlings as well. So I'm guessing that means you can use them to plant a new tree. That's useful. Ah. Look at the wooden blocks that I'm picking up from the trees, they look unapologetically close to the wooden blocks in Minecraft. Just saying. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something, I was meant to build a door for the front gate. I knew there was something I forgot to do in the first place. Let's build one more. Because I'm going to build a new house shortly so that I can put that forge in. Oh, right, okay. 
Yeah, I forgot about that. You need to place that on this side. But now the doors look a bit jank, which is kind of unfortunate. I would rather... See, now the doors would open and shut on the hinge, which is what I kind of wanted to do, but now the doors look super uneven. And I don't have OCD or anything, but it's really bugging me that it looks like that. But I would rather it function correctly than looking slightly weird. I can't remember which button it was. There we go. It's going to build a bit more of a wall around here so that they can't jump over this. Because that's what's been happening so far. Kind of like that. Yeah, there might be a way to get double doors eventually. Oh fuck, we need to get some more um, earth. How fast can I get earth with this? Okay, you can get earth real fucking fast. Like, look at this. Just mowing away at the blocks now. You know when he swings the hammer around like that? It kind of sounds like Link at times. It's kind of difficult to hear, but it does sound a little bit like Link. This hammer's some good shit. This is really fucking good. It's good at damaging things, it's good at harvesting minerals, it's really good at destroying earth blocks at the drop of a hat. It's got a little bit of everything. And we haven't even got the sword yet, which we're about to get shortly. More than enough blocks. Right, so hopefully the monsters won't be able to jump over this now at night time. Once we finish patching this up. There we go. Now things are looking a little bit better. Like, not even I can jump up on that, so I need to go in by door. Go in by janky door. Right, I need to, I need to get some more treasure chests so that I've got room to put more shit in. Let's wait till he finishes building. Right, so I'm going to make two rooms. I'm going to make a room with a forge, and I'm going to make a room that contains chests full of materials. So I guess we could do that in here. Uh, let's see. How's this going to work exactly? I suppose I could move the beds. Hang on a sec. Let me figure this out. Because I think I want to do this in a certain way.
so this will be the place for the forge, and then the other room will be for the treasure chests. Oh shit. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the hunger meter. Yeah, I should probably go get some food. Let's see, what have you cooked? Place that there. Right now we can put shit in those chests. This is a nice game, this. Like, this is a good game to chill to. I'm quite enjoying it so far. Oops, didn't mean to start talking. Whoops. Are you gathering all sorts of new and useful materials? You must be building up a sizable stockpile of all the amazing things that you've found. If you haven't, well, it's only a matter of time. Either way, you're going to need somewhere to store it all before it gets out of hand. I can only imagine how vexing it must be to go and pick up tantalising new items only to find your hands are full. Well, never fear, merely, for, for you can toil endlessly to gather materials, so too am I hard at work. I've been... I've been poring over the Cantlin Chronicle, and as you see, I have to save for the means to construct something called the Col Colossal Coffer. If it's a remarkable a repository as the book describes, it will make gathering and collecting materials a breeze. I will show you how to make the Colossal Coffer. Will you build one for me? I want to see the fruits of my studies with my own two eyes. So is it like a portable chest? An enormous enchanted chest that can store all the materials a busy builder needs. Is Dragon Quest Builders better than Minecraft? Mm, it really depends on what you want out of the game. It's got more direction than Minecraft, but Minecraft has much more like diversity and like how you can build shit. Like this game doesn't have like redwood mechanic. Uh, redwood? Fuck, what do you call that stuff? Redstone? It doesn't have redstone like mechanical stuff. Like you can't really do any of that kind of stuff in this game. Building in this is a bit more simplistic, but it's still fun. So, what do we need? I need to... I need one pot. Is that other thing? And wood. Oh wait, why did I do that? I could have just done it from the this thingy here. Now we can make a bench. Oh, there we go, double doors. You were right, MSP, there was double doors in this game. Whoops, didn't mean to make healing cream. Yeah, after you make a like after you build something and it gives you like a new recipe, it resets the cursor back up to the top, I've noticed. Otherwise it stays on the same item so that you can just spam the A button. Like this. Cause I don't want to use up all of the wood, I just want to make some wood. I don't want to use up all of the tree blocks. 
Just in case we need it for something else. I'll go up to 10 and then we'll toss the rest of this back in the chest. Oh look, they finally built something and it's a straw door. GG. Right, so let's build the double doors, I guess, and we'll build a couple other things. Salon door. Yep, we've got that. It's a little bit smaller than I thought, but it works. Ah, we need some health blocks. I'm just gonna need the health blocks from here. Who cares? There we go. It's like they won't even notice. Like, I won't even notice that I did that. Yay! Now it looks nice. Oh, I didn't realise you could use the D-pad to change the weapon. I thought you had to go into the the equipment to like change it manually, that's actually useful. Save a bit of time. Just gonna clean this place up just a little bit, get rid of the excess blocks. Don't need all of that. Hammer's just about to break. Good thing I've got a couple more hammers. a little bit weird. I'm gonna stick that a little bit further. Ah. There we go. Just make it look a little bit more tidy in general. Seems like the monsters aren't coming in, which is good. Oh, I think I need to... Yeah, you can't like equip a second hammer, you need to actually manually equip it. Oh, you need to, yeah, you need to um, equip all the shit. Right, so since this thing's almost broken, since those two are almost broken, let's destroy them. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Destroying these sticks real quick, and then I'll put that back up. Ah! <laughs> Didn't mean for that to stick out there. 
There we go. Professional builder extraordinaire. Right, I think it's time to hit the hay. Hit the hay bed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, T it turns out it's, n it's not time to go to bed. I guess it looks a little bit weird like that, but I'll just keep it that way, I suppose. Actually, no, I could fill that out. Eh, uh, never mind. Don't really need to fill that part out, it looks fine as it is. So now let's finally get to building that forge, the one thing I was holding off on for a while. Yep, we've got everything we need. Yay! Right, can we make the leather armor? We need to make copper ingot first. I suppose I think we need to make the forge first, then we can make the copper ingot. Actually, should we put the, the forge in here as well? I guess that makes sense to put both in here. Let's make room for it real quick. The Stone Man's workshop has been destroyed. I like how it just said that specifically, that wording. I'll place that there and then we'll place the forge in here. I think this will work. Ugh. Wow, that's a big fucking ass thing. And then we'll put the light source there. His first stonemason smithy. Cool. It's a little bit cramped, but I think we'll be fine with that. Ah, Melly. I've just been talking to Pippa. Oh, it's LaRouche, right? Okay, I thought it was the other guy. I was clearly facing the, the bearded guy, but I'm talking to LaRouche, like the guy on the side. She said you were looking to, for new people to help grow your town. I think I might know where you could find some. On the far side of Hammerhood's village, there's a small island connected to a mainland by a narrow land bridge. Passed that place on my way here and I thought I saw a bonfire burning. You might want to head out there and see for yourself. I'm sure Pippa would be thrilled if you brought someone back with you. Oh, and Melee, it's a long way, so... So it can't hurt to build a place to sleep while you're out there? Have you seen any of those old broken down houses when you when you've been out on your wanderings? If you fix them out if you fix them up, you should be able to use them as a home from home. Then take a break without having to come all the way back to town. It's up to you really, for the time being. Just follow your compass and see if you can find a new person to join your town. It was so far so good. Right, now you guys get out of here, I want to build shit. Nice. Yeah, fuck this stone sword, we're just going straight to copper sword. Put it in the equipment's bag, excellent. We will also build a better set of armour, leather armour. 
Yep, we've got everything we need now. Excellent. Can also build this. Right, I think we're pretty much decked out now, so let's have a look at the gear. Oops, wrong button. So yeah, we can equip up to five weapons, I didn't realise that. Nice. There's also room for two um, accessories, but we don't have any accessories just yet. But we do have a shield and sword. Hooray! We're actually starting to look a little bit better now. So how do you use the shield? Is there a button for that? Maybe the equipment tells you how to use shields? A basic buckler hardened with hide, defence plus two. Oh, so maybe it's just like an automatic def defence raise, like it doesn't really actually function like a shield? I have no idea. Still looks cool though, I mean look at that. Only took us four hours, but we finally, we're finally starting to make progress. Oh yeah, I forgot to build a bed. Let me do that real quick. Found his first pod of butter beans. make a better chest soon. Yeah, I'll do it in my own time. Ah, there it is. Straw mattress. All oh, right, the items are not in this world, of course. We need some grass. Your ass is grass. There we go. All we need is a door, a bed, and a light source. We've got torches. So we just need to find an empty room, or we can build an empty room, and then we can make a base camp there. I'm pretty sure there'll be like an empty room somewhere around here, since they mentioned that there might be like abandoned spots where you could maybe build from. Like, here, for example. Oh, that's convenient. Wait. No reply, it's just a- wait, there's a corpse in there? Oh, I thought- I thought it was like, looking at the bed. Like, there is a bed there, but I didn't realise there was a, a pile of bones right next to it. It looks like it could- it used to be somebody's home. Melee could repair it, so he might be able to rest here. Okay then. Guess this place is mines now. There we go. Place has been repaired. I should maybe put some torches around this house just so that I know where it is. Like, so I can see it from a distance. I'm still kind of not super familiar with where we are exactly. But I guess I'll place a torch there. Place a couple at the back as well so we can see it from the other side. There we go. Just slap one on top there, just for good measure. That looks good. Wait. 
who, who is this? <laughs> how is this physically possible? What? Just so you know, I'm not stuck here, I'm just holding the up direction, and it's just constantly doing this. Like, it's just thumping a small bit of stem. That was fun. Well, there's a grassy area. I think I'm going to use the Oaken Club for the most part once we need to start harvesting minerals I'll switch back to the hammer. Oh, I guess I'll use the hammer now then. You want to fight me? Ah! That was not the best way to handle that, but whatever. Get some of that sweet copper and some coal. I know there's more material here, but I'll be here all night if I continue mining, so we'll come back to this. I think I've got enough for now. So there is a grassy biome in this world. I thought it was just going to be all, like, clay, or whatever that is. Oh, cavern. Okay, now it's still starting to feel a bit more like Minecraft. There is an old musty notebook here, merely flips open to the last page. Praise be to the goddess. Tis surely her blessing that I might fight such, find such a bounty of coal and copper in the depths of this dark, dank cave. But however hard I strike it, whether with my cypress stick or oaken club, these minerals refuse to be dislodged. Oh, that I had a stronger weapon to bring to bear. The things that I could make with such fine materials. Harbour no doubt that the minerals in coal and copper are the key to mankind's advancement. If only I had a hammer. The entry ends here. It looks like it was written a very long time ago. In and in. Can I take this book? Yep, I can take the book. Well, before we start um, getting too crazy with the harvesting, I think I should build a treasure chest for the the new new house. The home away from home, as that guy said. Yep. Fucking... Okay. Yeah, that, that... I was getting stuck on that vine there. Oh, what's this? Ah, fuck, I need to make room. Well, I don't need the bed anymore, since there was already a bed waiting for me. Uh, items. Discards. I suppose I can discard the doors as well. I just look stupid, like, whoop, whoop, just pull it out. Out of, like, thin air. First chunk of silver. Okay then, silver. It was good. Get wrecked. I'm gonna harvest this little bit of silver then. I mean, it seems like that's all there is. There's probably more silver around here. Just gotta dig deep. I 
But yeah, this is a nice relaxing game. Also, this was what I was trying to look for. I was trying to look for sticks. Uh, need to drop something again. Hopefully this will be the last time I have to do this. No, where was that house? There is. See, that's why I placed a bunch of torches there, just so I know exactly where it is. It's easy to find, like, your house if it's got, like, several torches on the roof and not just a singular torch. There we go. Right, so any materials I can now use here, more or less. Can I drop items without actually, like, permanently discarding them? I guess not. No, nope, don't want to do that. <sighs> nice to see he's not bothered about the fact that he's sleeping next to a dead up dead body, more or less. Ah. Didn't realise that stick was still there. Right, so now we can finally look for the quest objective app and hopefully not die in the process. I say as I fucking fall twice. I don't think it's so much that I'm forgetting that fall damage is even a thing, I just keep forgetting how fucking little you have to drop for it to actually take effect. Like, you think you could drop much further, but I drop like, what, five blocks and suddenly that, that does it. I wouldn't say it's as bad as, what was that game called? Blaster Master Zero, where the fall damage is like extremely extremely tiny, like you fall down like three tiles and you get hit. Like it would make sense from a logical standpoint because your character is a very very tiny sprite in the big world, like when you're outside of the tank, but when you play it and you take video game logic into, into play, it feels super unforgiving. It just kind of catches you off guard. Smash. Just fucking smash them all. I should probably conserve that. Oh look, there's the, the fellow traveller. Ah, uh, who are you? You shouldn't be here, it's not safe. You should leave now before it's too late. What is this, Dark Souls? Oh shit. Ambush. I've been ambushed by papyruses. I'm just gonna spam the attack button and hope for the best. There we go. Core, I can't believe you actually did it. You defeated the monsters. 
I found this nice, strong cypress stick. Thought I'd give those monsters a good thrashing, but, well, you can see how that went. You might have gotten lucky this time, but us humans don't stand a chance against them. Let's chalk this one up to experience and keep our heads down from now on. Thank you and goodbye. I wish you the best of luck out there. Dot 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 dot. What? A town? There's a town on the other side of the teleportal? And you came all the way to find me? Well, if you put it like that, I will certainly come with you. It's not as if I've got anywhere else to go. My name's Kenon, by the way. Pleased to meet you. If only you had the Chimera Wing, we could get back to this town of yours in a flash. I didn't pick up. I didn't didn't take uh, Chimera Wings with me. I put them in the treasure chest back in the other worlds. So we're just gonna have to make the trek back to the teleporter. Teleporter? Teleportal? Might as well take some materials while I'm going. Just take some materials along the way. This copper sword is really good. In fact, I probably shouldn't be wasting it too much. Fuck did uh, Ken Helm go? Oh, shit. Can he claim the veins? Guess not. Oh shit, don't fall. Don't do that to me. Oh, he can't climb at all? What the hell? You'd think he would. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to build a set of stairs then. Oh, I see a chest down there. Obtained his first medicinal leave. Make a medicinal herb. Nice. Pistols 30 HP. Can make a fruit salad. It's cool. That's cool. No more silver there. I love claiming. Hey, you're a human! Human, human, human! Don't worry, I'm just like Corberina, I love humans! But what's a human like you doing all the way down here? You didn't fall in, did you? Don't worry, human, I'll show you how to climb, climb, climb up sheer walls like these and you'll be out of here in no time. Oh, you can climb in this game? Or do you need... Oh, right, okay. I thought you meant, like, physically climbing it, he's just describing how to put down blocks. You can make staircases out of earth or clay blocks. You just can't plonk, plonk, plonk them in the midair. So what you've got to do is stick, stick, stick them straight onto the wall. Like this.
Ah. There we go. Nice. We consume that right away. Can I take that treasure chest with me actually? Because I might be able to use that for storage. Now that I've got something that can destroy rocks and steel, or at the very least it can destroy minerals. Oh nice, we actually can take that, sweet. Got our first treasure chest, like a proper chest. Bag is full. Yeah, we'll need to... We need to head back out now. So that we can dump some shit away. That didn't sound right. We need, we need to drop some items. Wow, you're incompetent, this fucking guy. Right, now jump over there, jump up here. That's it, follow me. Actually, hang on a second. Right, now follow me up here. Almost there. There you go. But he's annoying, like, just trying to get him from point A to point B. Well, what the fuck? Why, why did you do that? Like, why did the open the door and then just jump up here and then come back around again. <laughs> what was the point? I'll talk to him in a minute. Do a little bit of clean up around here too. I can see the light source kind of bleeding out of the ground there, you see that? That's weird. There we go. Oops. Shit. No, don't don't wake up. There you go. Go back to sleep. Oh damn it. Not that it really matters. But that's kind of annoying that I did that by accident. Whoops. Maybe I should expand this building just a little bit further out. Yeah, those guys can't get over that wall. It's good.
Actually, I don't like that facing now. I'd rather face this way. There we go. That looks a bit better. Didn't mean to talk to him. Um, anyway, so you found that fellow I told you about. Judging by that ridiculous hat, it seems he fancies himself as something of a soldier. We don't need his kind here. I should have told you about him. I never should have told you about him. Hmm? What's wrong with soldiers, you ask? Well, all I'll say is bad things happen when people band together. Doubly if they're looking for a fight. Do you have any idea what brought the city cantle into ruin? Just take it from me, you really don't want to go making this town any bigger. Still, if only we're trying to help. Still, you're only trying to help here, Melee. Take this, you've earned it. Nice. I was trying to open that chest so I could get the food inside. So is he supposed to be the cooker or something? Because he's been cooking a lot of shit. Uh, so so he was cooking and then he walked over to the chest. It looked like he put something in and then there was nothing in the chest. So yeah, now you can see it looks like he's putting something else in the chest. So let's see if there is something in the chest. Nope. I guess it's one of those things we've just got to wait a while for it to appear. Right, let's see, I think we should build a couple more things to make this town a little bit more lively. Should also fill out this um, bit of hole here as well. Fill out the, the, the potholes, I suppose. Oops. Didn't mean to use that. So I heard something funny today. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of the the new Marvel vs. Capcom game that came out a couple months ago. Came out a couple months ago. It's called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and it's been basically met with a lot of I wouldn't say backlash, but just a lot of like people not caring about the game. Like it's not getting a lot of good reviews, mainly because it's very egregious microtransactions and DLC, like paid DLC, out the gate. And it's basically got to the point that people do not want to support the game. Like, it's not going to be at EVO this year, despite being the newest Marvel vs. Capcom. But here's the really funny thing about it. Apparently there was a press release today where Capcom basically said they're going to um, close down the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite servers on October of this year. So in just about a year after the game comes out, it's going to be no longer playable online. Like that's both hilarious, but also kind of fucking sad at the same time. But it was kind of on them to kind of fuck up that game, like they had the potential to make that a really good game. I mean it's not like the game is broken or anything, like the mechanics are solid and shit. It's just the way they handled the release of the game that kind of killed it. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna try to do that kind of shit with people, then they're going to wise up and not be any part of it. Like they just won't have it. I've seen that game as cheap as like ten dollars in some places, which again kind of hilarious, but also kind of sad at the same time. that filled out. Don't know if I should um 
I'll round this out a little bit. I wonder if I can build some stairs, just to make this place look a little bit nicer. I don't see... Yeah, I don't see a recipe for stairs just yet. I think maybe I need to get some bricks of some sort. Also, we can make a stone table. Or a stone, or a stone stool. Oh yeah, we need to make this. Uh, we need one clay pot. You can make stairs. Hang on a second. Oh, you're right, it's up there. I'll, be, I'll build that other thing in just a second. Hmm. Try to figure out what's the nicest way to do this. See, this is where the perfectionist in me starts to kick in with a game like this, where I want to make everything look super presentable. Actually no, let's not do it like that. That looks pretty good, actually. The town's starting to look much better now, wouldn't you say? Also, why the fuck are you guys jumping up there? What the hell? <laughs> why, why are they even doing that? Is anyone actually building anything? Oh, they've actually built shit. Cool. For once, they're actually doing stuff. Oh, wrong one. Let's make that colossal, what you call it, colossal coffer. An enormous enchanted chest that can store materials for a, build a busy builder. So I'm guessing I could just place this in here then. Oh shit, that's a large chest. That's bigger than I thought it would be. Right, I think, I think we need to expand. Uh, let's see, how do, are we going to expand this? I mean, look how big that's taking it. Like, it's taking it up 9 by 9. That's much bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should place this inside the mason... Mason building? I mean, I could probably expand it this way and place it in. Yeah, let's do that. Oh shit. They can jump over doors. Or at least they can jump over the salon doors. Or salon doors, sorry, not salon.
maybe this is too big. Mm, hang on, one, two, three. Mm, yeah, okay, that works. The house is getting a little bit too big now. It kind of feels like, but I think we can. I think we can make do with this. There we go. So now we can put the treasure chest over there. Get ready for this to make a huge thump noise when I place it down. <laughs> Let's use the colossal coffer. If you have a colossal coffer in your base, you can take items out of it at any time by selecting the items from the main menu. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Any items you could would that say? I didn't miss. I've missed that last part there, didn't I? That was weird. What just happened? Let's see if I can repeat that. There we go. Yeah, maybe I should move that light source. Oh wow, there's a fucking shit ton of space in here. I mean, there's a gigantic chest, but look at this, we've got three tabs worth of stuff. And each tab is like twice the size of a regular chest. So that's... If my math would, wouldn't would stop failing me, I guess that's... Six chests worth of stuff. That's pretty good. Also there's like room for equipment. It's neat. I might move that chest somewhere else. I'm not sure if we need it in the same room as the stonemason forgery stuff. Probably not. I just love how they just jump off like that, like they don't even care. I think daytime was about to start there, but fuck it, let's just sleep. I've been playing this for about two hours, I'll play it for a little bit longer and then I'm going to change games after that. I'm not sure who I should talk to next. Also there's a stone over there. It's a stone Luigi. Right, let's just place that in the chest. Yeah, this stuff I'm going to have to organise later. I guess I'll talk to this guy since he's new. Whoa, look at the size of this place. I had no idea the city was this big even existed. Just remembering here makes me feel so alive. I can't even remember the, remember the last time I felt so full of energy. Thanks for bringing me here, Amelia. I suppose it's fitting that I end up living in Cantlin. My ancestors used to be guards here, so if you can... If you need someone to keep this place safe, you can count on me. If you see periods of downtime like that, that's just me taking a quick drink before I continue. I've got to keep the throat hydrated so that I don't start coughing and getting like getting, getting like a bad throat. When I'm trying to talk, like if you, you know what I mean. Like I talk too long, my throat gets dry. I start I either start coughing or I start like becoming barely able to talk. I never imagined people seeing people living and working together like this. Well, I say working together, but 
Why this Rollo... Why this Rollo fault? Why this Rollo fault fellow? Why does that Rollo fellow keep strutting around like he's the boss of everyone? I'm guessing Rollo's the guy with the beard. To make things worse, he's got such a bushy nose and hair as whatever he's... Whenever he starts talking, I just can't take him seriously. I know it might be kind of awkward, but do you think you could talk to him to give him a trim? Ah. Speaking of, guess I'll talk to him then. By my bulging biceps, you've done it, Millie. You built the colossal coffer. With that coffer within the boundaries of this great town, you'll no longer have to worry about running out of room when you're out and about. Oh, that's good. When your item bag is full, this marvelous magical chest will whisk anything you can't carry back to the base and store it for you. That's immensely useful. I need to make one of those for the second world. What's more, you can access the Colossal Coffer and all of its items inside of it from anywhere in the whole wide world. Do you know what this means, Millie? You can go out into the wilderness and gather materials to your heart's content. Welcome back, Zachary. Speaking of gathering materials, have you collected any copper, coal, or stone from the home of the Hammerhoods yet? The Cantlin Chronicle describes those substances in length. It seems if we had a forge, we could use them to smith metal items. Uh, way ahead of you. Needless to say, you should be able to seek those substances out without delay. Now that you've got both the melt and the coffer, it's time to dive into the caves beneath the Hammerton Heights and see what you can dig up. Da -da -da -da. By my furry feet, <laughs> Millie, it seems those vile monsters are planning another attack at our noble town. There are more of us than last time and we have bigger and better weapons than before, but that doesn't mean we'll let our guard down. Are you ready for battle? Yeah, sure. I think I'm well equipped for this. Round two. Round two, fight! Which direction are they coming from? The leader of the monsters has appeared. He's the leader of the bunch, you know him well, also what the fuck. What, why did they run back inside the house? Are they getting something? Die. There we go. That was fun. A leather sack. Right, well I think that's a good place to stop then, because I've been playing for just over two hours now, like about two hours and ten minutes. So just like the last time, I'm just going to stop there after that raiding with the enemies. Actually, before we stop, I'm going to have to rebuild that wall real quick, so let me do that and then I'll save one more time. So yeah, I'm well on my way now, I'm starting to finally make progress with this. I'm really liking this so far. It's a nice game to chill to, like I've said a couple times already, just because it really is. So yeah, quite enjoying this so far. Oh, how do you go back to title screen? There we go. So yeah, this is a really neat game. I'm quite surprised at just how much like stuff you can do in it, like the depth. It's not as deep as Minecraft, but it's deep enough that you can appreciate it, and it's I like the, the single player aspect as well, which is way better than Minecraft. <laughs> 